Alrighty guys, we are back today with the Celica, and this is going to be a farewell video, unfortunately, for some of you guys, because I know a few of you do like this car, and so, here it is. Um, basically, if you've seen some of the videos, you probably already know what I've gotten, but if you haven't, um, just wait, you'll see. Um, what I'm doing now is basically selling the car, because uh, my grandfather moved up from Arizona, and I ended up purchasing his vehicle, uh, mainly because it was a one-owner vehicle with no rust, nothing, it's pretty much mint. Um, I'm able to make a little bit of money on this, um, not too much, but I'm just barely able to break even. So anyways, here's the farewell video today. Um, I think I found a buyer for it, so this is going to be the last video on the car. Basically, I'm going to go over what I've done to it since I've had it and all that stuff. So here it is, 1992 Toyota Celica GTS. This was considered more of the top of the line because you didn't really see the all tracks around. So basically the GTS gave you the leather, the lumbar, the leather steering wheel, and just a few other little things. Like you got the lift back version. Um, I believe it gave you a little bit more power under the hood, but it was never noticeable. Um, the nicer wheels. So yeah. But since I've had it since October, yeah, I've had it since the end of September, beginning of October. Got 138,500 miles on it. It's got 143.2, I think. So I put, see, so about... 5,000 miles on the car, almost. Um, it's been great. You know, it's had a few minor things like two new tires, brakes, um, routine maintenance. Um, the resonator on the exhaust I had repaired because it was leaking really bad. Um, half the shaft was replaced. Um, that's a couple hundred dollars right there. So, like, like I'm saying, like I said, I'm just breaking even on this, and I'm not too upset about it. Um, when I got this car after the escape blew up, I told myself I'm just gonna get a cheap car and not get attached to it. Um, that's essentially what I did here. I'm not too, too attached to it. I'm def definitely going to miss the 90s to this. This car is so 90s. I mean, the pop-up headlights, and I just love the way this car looks. This is, like, by far my most favorite angle of the car. It just looks so cool. Um, things I'm not going to miss about it is, is the squeaky, um, serpentine belt. Or not serpentine belt, but, um, the alternator bearings are going, I believe, and it's really squeaky at times. Um, it's very small. Like, it's so small. Um, Obviously, I bought that going into it, but I just realized how small it actually was. Um, I mean, you can put four people in the car not too comfortable because this is the lift back version, so the roof is slanted, so your heads do hit in the back. I've never rode in the back of my own car. I'm not buying this for other people. I bought it for myself. Um, th things I'm going to miss about it, again, is the gas mileage. I've been driving, like, on E this whole week. Um, so, I mean, this car is definitely fuel efficient, like, on mf -er. Um I'm really going to miss that. But, um, yeah, so, as you can see... Headlights, I just have them popped up. I actually got the fog lights to work. We wired um, a separate switch to the fog lights because, you know, about the high beam hole story there. Um, tires, wearing good. They only have 5,000 miles on them. Um, down here, I touched everything up on it, like all the little things that are touched up. This fender was replaced, obviously. Um, down here, I touched it up with rust preventer, a very weird chemical, but it works. I touched all this up and put the gas cap back on. Um, I'm rushing this because it's very cold out. My hands are freezing. The antenna, I just put it down a little bit because it looks better and it's not bent when it's all the way up. Um, the rear wiper, I put that on. The exhaust tip just ended up falling off because I ran it through a car wash and, uh, yeah, it fell off. Mud flaps, I'm going to leave those on for the next person to enjoy. I don't need them for anything. Um, yeah, you can see the only bad rust is right there. Um, yeah, so definitely preventable if you want to make it that way. I sealed off the rockers down here because you, if you remember, they're all rusty, but I, uh, put some special stuff on that um let's see let's put it for the outside here obviously there's some fenders and panels that don't match quite right um the car's been painted before tire back there so we'll stepping into this now so you remember the seat not good condition um, carpets i just kind of threw some just carpet slabs down on the floor um i'm gonna start the car now man my hands are freezing um okay 5 SFE 2200. Now, the motor's been great, nothing but reliable. It's very smooth, other than the squeaking when it's cold out. That's only why I turned this fan on, too. I don't know. But, um, yeah, over here, everything's all soft touch, and it's pretty good condition overall. I'm definitely going to miss the quality of this car, but my new car does have about the same quality because it is 90s. Um, carpet down here, this badge is missing. You have a speaker down here, speaker right here, tweeter right here. Everything is soft touch on this panel. Everything is soft touch up here to about there. So this is all soft touch down. Had the oil change, $20 oil change, you know, it's oil. Um, mileage, there you go. Turn on the headlights, and this is not control the fog lights, just a button now. The fog lights are actually down here. So basically I can leave my angled down high beams and fog lights on so they all work. 
and the fog lights on this are very bright. No, I'm just a little note there. Um, leather wrapped wheels in very good condition for 24. Um, only a little bit of wear is right here, but that is not bad at all. Seeing what is already out there, that's only 10 years old. Um, the keys right here, auto climate control, all that stuff. Stereo. This is actually starting to go out. It starts to flicker sometimes, so um, I guess it's a good time getting rid of it. Um, Five-speed gearbox. Um, in a way, I will miss the manual, but in a way, I actually won't. Um, it's I'd rather have like you know my KFC in my hand and driving instead of having the shift because I cannot drive this car and eat fast food unless it's like a cheeseburger or if I'm eating fries I gotta like just hold them and shove them down my mouth. Um, yeah, a little bit of a rant there, but um, dashboard all soft touch. It's coated in a vinyl material. Um, hazards they never work for some reason. The clock it's just off. Um, all paperwork and stuff is in there. Um, so sunroof, passenger seat. Like I said, the seats have seen better days for sure. Adjustable lumbar and or, uh, lumbar and uh, lumbar and bolstering. Uh, we'll pop it on this. We'll check out the trunk, and I want to make this short and sweet. So roll that down because I'm paranoid. Get to, the back, to get to the back seat, you just get back there. I'm really not going to go back there because it's just too small and clustery. So you can see they're pretty much the same thing as the last video. gas cap I took all the rust out of there like sanded it all down I did a bad job but um it looks better than this way better if you would have seen this car when I first got it compared to now um it's just ways ahead of what it was um trunk it's just got all its original stuff back there um it's kind of moved around because I've been hooning it today um getting in my last hoonage um so there you go that actually came off behind the seat I'll have to put that back in there but um yeah struts don't work it's cold out now brakes in the front are brand new as you can see, you do have yellow fog lights and uh, Sylvania Silver Stars, I believe. I don't know. Got them off Amazon there. Actually, GE Nighthawk halogen bulbs. Um, under here, I touched up all the chips, so pop the hood now. Again, 2200, 16 valve motor, my ghetto intake. Everything's clean, you know, cleaned it for the most part, so there it is. Pretty fun little car. Not very fast, but um. If you want to go fast, you can go fast, I guess. It's got a nice low-end torque. Overall, it's been a great car for what I've needed it for, and I'm going to try to get a video now. So, as usual, guys, thank you for watching, and we will talk to you all later.